Don't get me wrong, the 600 RPMs, they can wreck just as well. And there's just a bunch of people out here. <laughs> Can't even see the dude. Okay, this Randy shoot it out while we hit someone. Oh, we'll get this guy. Oh, oh, we're live, boys. Do it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Where are you at, bro? Where are you at? Come on, get this guy. This guy's the guy who's killed me every time. Okay, we'll get this guy. Give me the heal. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> am I live? Oh, someone get him. Hello, Ishkel, guys. Next is here. Welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, we are still on this grind of new moon weapons. Well, not new. They came back, obviously, with Bungie bringing them back with different roles. I wouldn't say new roles because, yeah, they knew a lot of these moon weapons. But the one we're going to be going looking at today is going to be every waking moment. This is the SMG, Avoid SMG. There's not many of them in the game, but all the other ones in the game are actually kind of broken, like Recluse, Shirai's Wrath. You know, all those really good SMGs, they're always freaking voids. But the every waking moments, Avoid SMG. 600 RPM precision frame. That's why I kind of mentioned the Shrya's Wrath. Both sort of similar frames and everything. Both similar in terms of rolls and everything. But overall, I know a lot of people instantly will say, yeah, but Shrya's Wrath is 10 times better. I do get that. Shrya's Wrath is an insanely good SMG. But what I will say about the every wake moment is that this is so much easier to get than the Wrath. I mean, Wrath, you've just got to go in Charles straight up. People just wouldn't touch Charles with a 10 foot pole. And even then, touching Charles makes them gag. You know what I'm saying? Like, no one likes Charles. <laughs> well, a lot of people don't anyway. A lot of people hate hate trolls they'll never do it they never want to step into it they can't get a team so if you're going to be going into pvp and you want something that can kind of contend with the rat the every wake a moment is going to be pretty sweet 600 rpm as i said void weapon decent mag size and as i said the rolls aren't too bad i've got a couple of rolls but this is one we're going to try at first there's two different rolls i want to try this is one so we got chamber compensator we got polygon rifling we got armor piercing we got ricochet we got range finder obviously going to be dope and last but not least, we got Tresh. If this was Kill Clip, I would have been set for a god roll, but yeah. Tresh isn't the worst, especially with the way I'm going to be using this, but obviously more desirable rolls and everything. We got a range mask work too, and I'm going to stick up the backup mag as well, because if you take it off, 26 bullets, SMG, I kind of want that bit of extra bullets. But as I said, these weapons came back with a bunch of new rolls. You'll see it on the screen now what you can get. So you can obviously get the Killing Wind, Heating Up, you can get the Range Finder, Quick Draw. You can get some really, really good perks compared to what... They've done with the other main weapons. This one actually has decent perks. Now, they did take some of the good ones away, like Swashbuckler and everything. But, or, or just simple kill clip. But, you can see you got multi-kill clip. You got the Wellspring, Elemental Capacitor, uh, Trash, uh, Adrenaline Junkie. There is a couple of, honestly, good rolls you can get in this. This has not been as bad as the other weapons like Arc Logic and um, Tranquility. It came back with decent perks. And as I said, it's basically Shirai's Wrath Light. And we're going to go in and showcase why, if you hate trolls, you should get this SMG. Because this will be able to contend with the Wrath. So without further ado, let's go in with the Every Wake a Moment. Alrighty, so we're going to be going What's on to the fortress with our every wake moment. We're going to call it the waking or something like that. And this is going to be sight and everything. It has a pretty large zoom, but that's mainly because of range finder and everything on it too. So that's how they increase range. But we're going to be using it with our ignition code as well because using the grenade launcher with it is honestly one of the greater combos to use in SMG. It's just a really sweet one. So you get them weak and they, you're meant to finish them off with it. Now, oh my god, okay, you wrecked me to tour. Now, SMGs honestly have had a big resurgence in the game. They've actually become a lot better, especially with the nerf 2 shotguns. Shotguns, don't get me wrong, they're still good, but with this nerf 2 uh, high impacts, you can get away with SMGs a lot more. You can absolutely shred some people that are unaware, so if you get the weak, that's why the, obviously, the moment, or the waking moment, it is wrecking people. Like, you can see, that's some decent ass damage, especially with the range finder stuff you can't get in this. You can get some nutty perk rolls with this to go in. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you hate trolls or you're not like a trolls like fan, you can definitely just absolutely wreck with this. Like, look at that combo. I mean, that is just freaking disgusting what you can do. And that's why SMGs are just so good right now, is that when the shotguns got nerfed, use grenade launchers to know. Some people hate grenade launchers, thinking they're easy and everything. They're all cheesy. Oh, he just got wrecked. Oh my god, he got deleted. And that's the other thing as well, is that these uh, 600 RPMs, they're actually really good at getting people kind of um, at far range. Like, they go pretty far, like, intrinsically. They're precision frame. Think of the anti-OPD, or the anti-OPD. That's, like, the best way of thinking of it. And you can just see, it kind of just wrecks. It's basically like, oh my good god, that was a merciless from freaking miles back. But you can see, you can actually solo with this. This isn't just that you have to go in with a grenade launcher, it's easier. But you can definitely just solo with, a, with the SMG. You will definitely get kills. Ah, uh, we'll get this guy weak, though, and... Oh, my God, we shredded the two of them now. I am freaking gonna get domed by something. Okay, hey, buddy, can you take a nade? <laughs> no, you can't. Yeah, this is slide shot ignition code, by the way, so... <gasps> yeah, it's dope. But you can see the SMG. It honestly does Shrek, and that's why the uh, Shrek's Wrath, or Shrek's Wrath, that's why it's kind of absolutely nailing people right now. A lot of people are using it, because it goes in. It does so much quick damage. Oh! 
my god, I missed completely. But it does such quick damage, especially with the shotgun nerfs that did come in. It's so good. And especially with the range finder or kill clips rolls you can get with them. It's just disgusting. Or the range rolls you can't get with it as well. Now, we are absolutely just freaking stomping these. And that guy going for 62. I'm going for, like, the most range shot of my life. <laughs> God, I was never hitting that. But yeah, you can see that you can't go miles away. Like, you're not going to absolutely map people or anything like that. But for an SMG, it goes really far. And when you're caught up close stuff, you have real good advantage against anyone caught up close with you. Oh, boys, get him. Get him. He's weak. He's weak. Oh, of course. He, of course. Of course he goes for me. There's a guy over there called Mint. Oh, he's just freaking too tasty for you, right? He's just too uh, breath of fresh air. Did you go for my freaking sorry ass? Then you had a guy standing in front of him and he goes, nope, let me go for this guy. Oh, I actually got that kill. Take it, boys. We take it. We take it. And okay, screw it. We got our super. They're not getting me flagged. They're not getting me flagged. Hey, where, where'd this guy go? Where you going, bro? Where you going, bro? Where you going, bro? Where you going, bro? I'm going to run out of the super energy. <laughs> Damn it. I'm out of energy. Oh, okay. I need to dip. Oh, oh my god. What is with all these freaking arc stars? When did this become a thing? Oh, huh? when did arc stars just sitting in corners become a thing? But yeah, this, I am enjoying this weapon and everything. As I said, Tresh doesn't really help me out too much, and I probably would lost that considering. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> How did I kill him? But obviously, with Trash and everything, it's not like it's going to be doing much. It gives me that super energy, but Kill Clip would have been such a better role or whatever, or anything else. Even like Elemental Capacitor or Wellspring or something. One of them would have been really cool. But I think that just this combo in general, especially because it's 600 RPM, I can go pretty far with it. So, oh, that guy is one shot. But yeah, bro, where you at? Where you at? Oh my god, okay, that's that's a bit too far to go for range. <laughs> oh my god, can this guy just, I don't know, die? Oh, we got away. You got a freaking way. But yeah, there is certain ranges where you're not going to hit them or anything like that. But that's why these are kind of used in conjunction when they're weak. And when you get them up close. Oh, no. Chrome rush. But when you get them up close like that, it's just so good. I mean, SMGs, the own song meta, I'd say. Well, sidearms are really unsung. But the SMGs, with obviously, as I said, shotguns getting nerfed and everything like that. They just go in so much more now. There's a guy capping our A-flag. Get him weak. Ah, he's weak, boys. And thank you for the kill. Uh, there's going to be a dude out here, though. We're going to wreck real fast. And just look at it. Oh, my God. As I said, 600 RPM SMGs. They're not my favorite. Don't get me wrong. I do rather the L. Oh, that's person with... Oh, it's a waveform. Okay. I do rather um, 900s. They're just better for me. They're just faster rate of fire and everything. But don't get me wrong. The 600 RPMs, they can wreck just as well. And they're just a bunch of people out here. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even see the dude. Okay. This Randy shoot it out while we hit someone. Oh, we'll get this guy. Oh, oh, we're live, boys. Do it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Where are you at, bro? Where are you at? Come on, get this guy. This guy's the guy who's killed me every time. Okay, we'll get this guy. Give me the heal. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> am I live? Oh, someone get him. Please get him. Where, the, where did my teammate go? He was right there. Oh, my God. I have the heals and everything. This is what the trash is getting me, though. I'm actually getting a lot of super energy from trash. There we go with this guy. Oh. Hey, bro, you got a golden gun. You got a golden gun. You got a golden gun. <laughs> oh, I'm such a woman. I, I'm such I'm such a pussy, okay? I just sat in the corner waiting for that. But you know what? It was worth it, boys. It was freaking worth it. The thing about it is, as well, is that I'm actually doing some decent work with this. And I'm not even probably on, like, the best map for it in terms of range or whatever. Because this is not a very close quarters map and everything. Oh, no. I'm only going to get someone one shot now. And now I have to do this to him. Oh, no. I have to grenade launch him. Oh, no. <laughs> But I will say, yeah, this map isn't probably the greatest the way it's played out or whatever. But it definitely is effective just with the combo of the, this sort of thing. Like, I mean, there is no stopping that if you time... If, especially if this is with Mountain Time Era or Mountain Top. Oh, my God, the range. If this is a Mountain Top Era, though, I, I'd just be just demolishing people. Especially with the rolls you can get. As I said, this is a range find of Tresh, which isn't that great. But I like the range find. That's why I'm going to use it. But if you had a quick draw on this, you can get high Cali rounds, too. You're just, they're just never going to have a freaking chance. Dude. That guy actually just went through the freaking gap. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, he got wrecked. Okay, where is this guy at? Oh, come on, bro. Come on, me. Oh, no. Guys, get him. Someone get him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not dying to another one of those stupid arky boys. Come on, die. And that guy's one shot. Oh, you're going to slide this way, right? Oh, my God. It's another arc staff. It's another freaking arc staff. Can we just not... Can we just, can we just not, please? Oh my God. Every time I turn a corner, they are there. The freaking ball dances themselves. I wish they were real ones. You know what I'm saying? But they're not. They're freaking dangerous ones. Oh, we'll get this guy dead though. Oh, I didn't even get the kill. What the? Ah, oh. 
Okay, we take it, boys. We take it. I mean, we're probably going to win this game. Oh, I think it's probably with the elemental charge being arc or something like that. That lasts longer or something. Oh, my God. Can we just not thank you for the heal? <laughs> this guy thinks I'm weak, but I ain't chief. I ain't weak, chief. And there's the kill. I mean, as I said, that combo, you can see, is just kind of nasty. I got three Dawn Blades, too, in one game because, obviously, the trash is going in for me. And that's what I mean. You can definitely get some really sweet ones, especially with the way I'm using this. As I said, I thought the trash wasn't that great. But with the way I'm using this with the grenade launcher, I'm going to be finishing people off. So I'm basically getting super energy for pretty much nothing. I will say, honestly, the every wake up moment, it is dope. I, obviously, the Destroyer's Wrath is probably better. It feels better and everything. But this thing actually is really dope. 36 opponents defeated 3.0. Alrighty, so we're going to be on uh, Cauldron. This is going to be the new role we're going to try out with this uh, superb handling and everything. This is a good map for it too. So I'm going to be an Arc Boy, uh, Thunder Lord or whatever you want to call him. A Kamehameha, we're Goku basically. Because obviously with the, the Arc, I can basically... I hit someone? No, I didn't. But with the Arc, I can get the handling up really high. So when I do swing it out, you can see how fast it is to take out and everything that. I'll get some pretty nasty ass kills with the grenade launcher working in, con uh, in tandem with it. I was going to sit in condom when I was going to be. That's a weird ass combo. <laughs> oh, can we get this guy? And I'm freaking dead. I'm so. Wait, how am I alive? Okay. Hey, buddy. You want heal? I have an impairing rift on. Why do I have a impairing rift on? What the hell? Okay, boys. We're, we're in impairing rift hiding around the corner. Okay. It's not going to do much, but you know what? Here's the SMG. Uh, yeah, he's got a shotgun, but I got an SMG. And that, this is where the SMGs come in. I wouldn't say super clutch, but they are so good right now considering what everyone's using. Like, I mean, you can be... Oh, my God. Am I against freaking X Games right now? He's dead. <laughs> oh, we're against X Games. We're against freaking X Games. And oh, my God. He actually chaperoned me. Oh, my God. I'm power playing them. What the hell? But you can see how good this can be. I didn't even know how much special ammo there, so I couldn't get the grenade launcher combo going. But you can see with the handling and everything I've got on it, I can quickly switch and get them weak and... Yeah, I'm never going to kill him at that range. But that's the combo. And, that, and that's why this every waking moment is honestly a solid choice. As I said, this is not going to be the greatest choice if you have like a Shrya's Wrath or something. But with the way the game is right now in terms of actually having to do trials to get the Shrya's Wrath, I do understand why people will go, oh, I'll probably get this one. It seems like a lot more like obtainable. Because the freaking is. It just is. Look, look at this. This freaking double kills now. Oh my god, of course. Of course the guy's using freaking Risk Runner. I know this weapon's void and everything, but he had a freaking proc, so I couldn't freaking hit him or whatever. I ran out of bullets too, and that's why I stuck up the back of bag and the other one. You can see, bullet-wise, it does run out pretty fast if you're trying to go for multiples and everything like that, because realistically, it's not really worth it, but... Ooh, that guy just destroyed me. I mean, I could use this as a set. Oh my god. God, my god, I'm so freaking dead. Oh, take the nade. That guy has to die, right? He has to be dead, right? He has to be dead. Oh, no. No, so weak, but we get the kill anyway. You know what? Fortune favors the brave. And Kame, Kame. Ha! Where are you, bro? <laughs> oh, this is going to be a merch show. I'm going to have to do it all. But you can see the kind of max combo you can go for it. Like, I mean, you just don't really have a chance, especially with this ignition code roll I've got going as well. I mean, it's just so much quick damage that you don't really have much of a chance. Really no much of a chance. Like, look at it. Just look at it freaking go now. There is the mercy rule. I expected it to come, whatever, but that's it. That is it in a nutshell. Now, this guy has to die. Oh, God, he actually did. And the police are going to have to look into this because this was abuse. This this was this was just slaughter. This was manslaughter. Freaking murder. I don't know. We got two survivors. Epitaphs for it as well. 18 opponents feed at 4.5. Oh, my God. Post so with the 18 kill streak. Ooh, absolutely slaying. Well, that is it for me and the every waking moment. Honestly, you can see that it's actually a very solid SMG. I know we didn't get much with the second roll and everything. We got a good kind of glimpse at it and everything. But I will say that rolls wise, this has actually pretty decent rolls. I know it did get like technically a nerf that lost a bunch of other rolls like swash pokers and stuff like that. But I think it's definitely still a very, very solid choice, especially for people who hate trolls, especially for people who won't go, go near trolls or don't want to do trolls or whatever. And people are running around with the, their void, Shrya's Wrath, whatever, getting and they're getting kills with it. This is definitely a good substitute. It is probably the Shrya's Wrath uh, light. I would say you're probably better out getting the Shrya's in general. Like you can see, like even just based on stuff that you can get better sort of perks, rolls and everything. You can get really stable stuff range wise and everything. Every wake moment is definitely a good substitute if you don't do trials at all. I mean, it's definitely really good. It's a void weapon. It feels nice too. Its scope is pretty cool as well. It just shred. It just shred when you use the uh, ignition code or grenade launcher with it. And I think it's definitely. It's just a solid choice, honestly. You can get, as I said, nice rolls. Get freaking range finder, quick draws, high quality rounds, the multi kill clips and stuff. There is some nice ass rolls for this weapon. So I will say, definitely, if you hate trials or definitely if you want a good SMG for a void SMG or whatever. 
Try the uh, every wake and moment out. You won't regret it. It's definitely one of the moon weapons that's actually worth kind of getting a reroll of. But regardless, if you like the video, just like, and you want to see more content, subscribe and fantastic day. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next collective in the next one.